Hi guys, well, I'm camping tonight at a place called Squire's Cafe. It's got a little campsite um, at the back of the uh, pub and um, it's a big bikers meet up in Yorkshire this. I think it's, uh, well it is near a place called Sherbet and Elmet, something like that. Um, big bikers meet on a Sunday and other nights I guess and uh, you can see the pub in the background big car park at the front there's various bits of parking and then the camping is be behind the actual pub so this is where we're going you can see a campsite sign there and I'm gonna finish a coffee at both and then I'll go and pitch my tent I believe I might be the only person on the site here tonight so that'll be interesting and I'll report back to you and show you around a bit later on when it's gone quiet cheers guys So I've got booked in and uh, had a coffee. Nobody else camping on the uh, camping field, although there are there's, there's a caravan area as well, which is next to but separated from. And uh, so I feel in no rush to uh, pitch the tent at the moment. Don't think it's going to rain yet. If it does, won't be much. And uh, having had a coffee, I might have a beer now just enjoying the chilled out watching and looking at motorcycles uh, from what I understand the uh, Sunday is a big bike meet here and it's getting on a little bit in the afternoon now so things are thinning out uh, however in a morning mid morning till um, probably about one o'clock two o'clock that car park will be rammed uh, they serve Sunday lunches as well in the uh, pub, along with other food. They also have a little uh, outdoor bar, which is just behind me, just there. So you can get a drink there, coffee, beer, light refreshments. And it's a really, uh, it's a really great place. I mean, anywhere where there's a gathering of bikes is good because you get to see other bikes, you get to chat with people, and it's uh, nice just to watch the world go by. So I'm just going to do that for the next uh, next hour or so, and then uh, I'll get the tent pitched. Uh, the, the, I think they also have a bike night on uh, a Wednesday night, as well as the Sunday, and they have um, events, all sorts of events. Uh, the one that I just spotted coming up is uh, Jap Jap Car Show. <laughs> so it'll be Japanese cars, won't it? So there's all sorts going on. I'll put the link for their website so you can have a look yourself. And I guess if you time it right for something that you're interested in, there'll be uh, always something of interest to see. Now normally it's only a small campsite, camp area, so if it's in the middle of summer and it's a weekend I'd be uh, pre-booking but what I find with most of my camping is that um, even with this Covid that's going on at the moment so a lot more people are camping once you get to Sunday night onwards it's not too bad and just to touch on the price here uh, it's normally £15 for a tent if you're in a car and I think that is for the tent price However, if you come on a motorbike, it's £10. So I think for the destination, what's going on? Loads of bikes. Um, you know, for the destination, what's going on? Pretty good value for money, that, I think. And there's a pub here as well. And that, uh, that's open till 10 o'clock tonight. And as it turns out, it's the England-Italy European Cup final tonight and it was a very last minute thing for me to come off camping and I accepted that I may not be able to watch the game however it's going to be on in there just don't go to extra time and penalties because they shut at 10 <laughs> anyway yeah it's uh, £10 for a tent and motorcycle so that's great value for money if it's busy on the little campsite it's a bit 
crammed I've been here before actually and when I came here last year it was very very busy um, however it's just one of those places where you just accept it's going to be a little little bit busy on occasions I think it was a Saturday night that I stopped here so you just have to accept that um, tonight Sunday night and we're in July at the moment there's only me on that uh, camping field although there are a lot of caravans up uh, on the caravan section uh, nobody else has turned up yet to uh, to camp so there's time for you yet mind this video will be about two weeks behind so <laughs> tough luck no um it's a really nice place this i like it um it isn't the peace and quiet of uh, other sites that i stay at I, I love some of that peace and quiet the isle of butte uh, was a stunning location wild camping that one uh, however this is very different you know you're getting all this behind you you know you're getting a bit of biking going on you're getting a bit of uh, chatting to people with bikes getting to look at bikes um, the food's good enough I, I, I had something to eat last time i was here it was okay uh, well i say okay it was good and uh, they do do sunday lunches but to be perfectly honest I, I don't want a big meal so it won't be a sunday lunch for me so i'm gonna go and have a beer continue chilling out but I just thought I'd sort of show you the uh, place from a different angle and uh, the campsite I'll show you um, when I get round there uh, but the caravan section is just there and then the campsite is mm, sort of just behind the pub in that direction the camping field there's also another big field which is uh, well it's it's effectively the field directly behind me now and I think they put uh, events on there and also uh, where you've got bikers club uh, camps so there's a larger number of people camping they uh, put you on that field if I'm not mistaken I seem to remember from last time I was here so it's a good place to come as a um, you know if you've got a club camp sometime this would be a great place to come because of the uh, the bikers meet and the the actual camping and the festival field let's call it festival field i don't know what they call it i'm going to call it festival field so yeah it's pretty uh, pretty damn good this and uh, i know it's not purely uh, campsite review but it would be remiss of me not to show you a little bit of this that's going on now
So guys, the uh, tent's been put up, bike's parked up. All I need to do now is get changed and go to the pub, watch the football, have a beer, something to eat. And I'm rather looking forward to that. So this uh, campsite at Squire's Cafe is a very small site. Uh, that doesn't take anything away from it at all. If you come here when it's uh, biking nights, which as I've talked to a couple of people um, out the front, um, Sunday basically is a, obviously a big biking meet. And then um, Wednesday and Thursday, and apparently Thursday is uh, classic bikes. Uh, when I say classic, old Japanese stuff and uh, I guess anything old. So if you happen to be coming this way and you want to have a stopover, you're traveling north up the a, the m1 or the a1m then this is a really good place to stop off i'll put details and location and a map uh, in the information section and in the pictures at the end but uh, really really good stopover and 10 pound a night is uh, excellent value when you think of the facilities and the uh, biking connection now tonight the only tent on here is me <laughs> might not end up that way but it's uh, i think it's likely now it's only going to be me and this is a sunday night uh, in july so very quiet now you can see where the uh, where i've pitched there i've pitched basically facing uh east so when the sun rises at least over the trees i should get a little bit of uh, sun unless it's raining and cloudy who knows but just to give you a view around the site um, you see where the bi bikes parked which is at this end of the uh, site the, this is the camping pitch I should say with the pub in the background it's not a busy pub and it shuts at 10 o'clock on a Sunday um, it's busy through the day and I guess early evening in summer but at night time it'll be relatively quiet so I'm just going to uh, pan around and show you the rest of the site so there's I think that's just a track actually so that's not a camping pitch but obviously you know you can you can camp anywhere down in this grass area my bikes and tents there and then just above there there's another flat area up on that uh, little bit of an incline then there's a flat area that's a pretty enclosed area good and uh, I'm pitched on a, a flat area um, and most of it is flat a little bit of undulation a little bit of slope here but plenty of flat spots but even slopes don't matter as long as you pitch a tent right and then if we come across here you'll see the caravans and those caravans and camper, camper vans are on that top level but they've obviously spilled over to here well actually that'll be for caravans and camper vans because it's it's hardcore uh, gravel and then the rest of the camping field just stretches out to where you can see somebody actually pitched there is another tent there pitched up in the top corner so very interesting also if you're a train spotter this could be very good for you because that's an embankment a railway embankment and the trains don't think the main line but the commuter trains and the little trains run across back and forth so I guess you can get some train noise <laughs> but I wouldn't think there'd be many running on that line uh, through the night I did stop here last year and I just can't remember how busy that line was therefore it probably wasn't so that's it basically this is your field uh, what I've shown you is it obviously uh, if it's a weekend particularly a bank holiday weekend you would want to book this but I've come here on Sunday and it's empty in July so through the week if you're ever coming this way you should be able to just come in and get a pitch uh, it has toilet blocks which are there this building here is attached to the toilet blocks is all part of the complex here and that complex includes a fish and chip bar uh, ice cream bar coffee bar and a bar and it's called speed style uk and obviously when it's open uh, it's got lots of motorcycle gear clothing and accessories um, 
it was just shutting as I was pitching so I did have a chat with the guys and uh, we'll just give them a good shout out because they liked my bike so if you do come here go in there say the camping biker not that they'll know who the camping biker is the guy with the bike that they couldn't figure out what it was but liked it they might do you a good deal maybe not so the toilets um there's nobody in the toilets uh, at the moment <laughs> although I, I think some of the caravans do use the toilets at the moment there's nobody in there so i'll just show you a quick look in yeah so gents to the left ladies to the right and the, the toilets are basic um it's just a basic toilet block but it's clean enough with a couple of cubicles toilet cubicles sit down this is the gents i'm not going in the ladies and a couple of sinks and two showers not so sure yet i'll have to check the uh, showers whether you pay for them or not it's not looking like there's a slot there well there is a slot but it doesn't look like a coin slot well maybe it's a token we'll find out yeah so basic toilet block nothing fancy about it at all but i wouldn't expect uh, at uh, this sort of site at 10 pound a night that uh, it would be anything fancy so guys there's a little wash up uh, porched area here just on the toilet block uh, very basic and it's just there they've got a campsite uh, barbecue area just right there to get your barbecues going that's quite a useful uh, useful space We even have a couple of uh, biking caravanners. That's a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Biking caravanners. So that's your uh, entirety of the camping field. And since I've stayed here before, nothing's much of a surprise to me. Just very good value for money. And there's that raised area. Slightly slopey, but to be honest, I'd pitch on the top of there if it was busy. It's a nice little tucked out of the way spot up there. But I just uh, went for the flat spot down here, just for simplicity, and there's nobody else camping, so. Oh, there's not many people camping anyway. And the little Honda CB500X is the bike that just keeps giving. Not much more to do with this bike. I've just about got it where I want it. A few little tweaks, but largely sorted for my traveling. And the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2, which there's reviews on the channel. I swap between the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 and the MSR Elixir 2. And a lot of you do ask uh, which one I prefer. And that's really hard to say because I like them individually for um, the pros. And there's hardly any cons with them but the pros with each one of them uh, i really like i mean i really like the nature hike products good quality and this is the second tent i've had and i didn't uh, need to get rid of the first one but it was just i wanted to buy this cloud up two and i had a cloud up one so i sold the cloud up one i bought the cloud up two and it's small pack size i think about 1.6 kilogram the MSR is about 2.6 kilograms, another kilogram on this. 
but the MSR has two porches so more usable and it has a crossbar on top which gives you more headroom across the width and most of the length of the tent so this is a little bit more compact in size but bearing in mind it's a two-man tent being used as a one-person tent I think it's got bags of room still bikes there on the car park you can hear one of them <laughs> but I'm now going to get changed and I'm going to go to the pub get something to eat drink and uh, watch the football so thanks a lot for watching guys I'll give you a bit of a sum up in the morning if there's any more information to give you but otherwise really useful little campsite with the added bonus of motorcycles lots of them well that's it changed washed face anyway off to the pub I'm getting quite hungry now so looking forward to seeing what they've got on I guess it'll be fairly uh, basic menu because um, it's a Sunday night and they do Sunday lunches and with Covid everything seems to be stripped down a little bit but let's go and have a look hi guys nice spot this maybe not everybody's cup of tea but it's quite cool really and we have a little Suzuki motorcycle in a glass cage I don't know what the significance of that is but I'd like to ride it so guys football is on you can't see the finger beam <laughs> football is going to be on so I've been very lucky tonight to find somewhere to camp and watch football and for those that have mentioned Hobgoblin before we've got bottles of Hobgoblin can't even say it can I and that's the first the draft beer is shite but that's good beer I'm doing this before it gets too busy but I'm going to enjoy it as long as they win in normal time because the pub shuts at 10 o'clock so we can't go to penalties so a rather wet and damp morning to pack the tent away but actually uh, it's only a little bit drizzly now so not too bad and um, it's a lot quieter on the car park today there's only the four bikes including mine ready to go and how can I sum up uh, for those that know Squires Cafe it's a big bikers uh, destination bikers meet uh, I had a few uh, comments uh, on Facebook that it's uh, not what it used to be or it's not very good and to be honest maybe it's just because it's only the second time I've been I, I, and I've never been in the past I found it all right actually the uh, campsite itself it's a little just patch behind the, uh, the cafe and you've seen the video for that but it's a good one for an overnighter it's a good one if you're transiting somewhere traveling and you want a quick overnight but the added advantage is that you've got the uh, bikers destination so it's you know you get to see a few bikes the food I had last night uh, was good I, I can't criticize the food it was it was all right I didn't even think it was uh, too badly priced for what I got and the campsite itself basic toilets basic but clean so it sort of did its job you've got a, a railway line right next to it as I pointed out the embankment uh, however the trains are not running through the night or at least I didn't hear any through the night uh, but I think they started about six something like that and uh, there must be like a bridge so they toot their horn <laughs> just as they go past the campsite <laughs> maybe it's because they know it's a campsite <laughs> and they just want to wake you up so you get an early early morning call um, didn't bother me um, 
I had a bit of a slow start leaving today because it was raining heavily and then it eased off. So as soon as it eased off, I got a chance to pack. But the trains going by didn't bother me in the slightest, but just be aware that you've got trains going past if you do come here. Anyway, it's starting to rain a bit heavier now, so I'm gonna get on the bike and go. Um, as I say, good transit spot. Um, probably wouldn't do more than the night here, just uh, in passing. But I quite like coming here just to uh, see the bikes and have the crack. So guys, Squire's Cafe Campsite. £10 for a motorbike and uh, I think it's pretty reasonable as a transit uh, site. Anyway, I'm going and I'll catch you again. Thanks a lot guys.